How much do I need to earn each year in Singapore to live a budget or low cost lifestyle right here in this little red dot? Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner working with Australian expats here in Singapore. Now, I'm asked time and time again by more and more Australians reaching out online how much they will need to earn or how much they'll need to ask their employer for to be able to actually move to Singapore, still save money and account for the fact that they're not in most circumstances going to get superannuation contributions anymore. So let's dive into the numbers with a real case study. We're not going to factor in the discretionary spending of dining out and holidays. We're just going to look at the basics for an Australian expat family with two kids. So let's dive into the numbers. Now let's start with one of the biggest expenses, rent. Rent has gone up dramatically over the last 18 months here in Singapore. So we've got two kids, two parents, let's assume we're in a three bedroom condo at $6,000 per month. Now we're not gonna be right in the city, but we're also not on the border of Malaysia. So that should give you a reasonable price point, 6,000 a month, 72 a year. Now I've got two kids in international school. Obviously it will differ slightly school to school, but we're going to assume $4,000 per month per child, 48 a year or 96 per year for them both to go to school. Obviously the younger they are, the cheaper those fees will be, but you're not getting a great deal of savings from 40 to 42 per child. And at the higher end, it's in the low 50s. So we should be fairly spot on with our $4,000 a month assumption there. We've then got our utilities. Now, again, this will vary slightly depending on how much you run the aircon and whether you're working from home or not. Here, we're going to factor in $250 per month. We've then got transport. Now in this one, as I said, budget lifestyle, we're not catching uh, cabs, we're not catching ride share. It's public transport and it's walking. Yes, it's hot, but this is the budget lifestyle, remember. So in this one, we're factoring in $100 a month to cover our transport expenses. Now we've then got health insurance and personal insurances. Now again, we're not talking endowment plans, savings plans, insurance linked investments, just term insurance and health insurance. So we're gonna throw in another $1,000 a month to cover that. Then of course, we've got our groceries, we need to be able to eat. We're going to throw in another $1,000 per month or $250 odd per week, slightly less, four and a bit weeks in a month, but we're going to factor in $1,000 a month for our groceries. We've then got phone, internet, TV, another $200 odd a month, $2,400 per year, and entertainment. Now, this is really the wild card. This could be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to tens of thousands. In this example, budget lifestyle, not going out a great deal, we're going to use $500 per month. So all of those costs considered, factored in, gives us about $220,000 of expenses. Now, what is missing here? Tax and savings. We don't want, in most circumstances, to be moving to Singapore, living here and saving nothing. What is the point? How are we going to afford to retire or pay down our mortgage or whatever it might be in future when we move back to Australia? So generally speaking, we want to be able to save at least 20% of our gross salary. We then, of course, have the tax bill to think about as well. So we throw all of these numbers together and that gives us the required level of income that we need to achieve this budget lifestyle in Singapore and say budget to modest because it is still a reasonable amount in rent. It's not, um, you know, living uh, right out on the edges of Singapore. So it is still relatively comfortable or modest. That means that we need to earn at least $330,000 per year as a household. Now that might be one partner working, the other partner not. That might be each earning a similar income of about 165 each or it might be one earning that single income of 330. Obviously tax rates will change slightly depending on if it's both working or just one. But there you have it, to achieve that modest lifestyle in Singapore, to be able to save that amount of money, we need to earn at least 330 odd thousand dollars per year. <music> 